Three bars on me, I ain't talking about the Wi Fi, Ben 10 Rich, I ain't talking about the Sci Fi. Look at mine, nothing's in comments, but Kaka, I feel like this is trying to kick it like what is up guys, welcome back to Turbo's Garage and today we're gonna to be dynoing the WS6 after the heads and cam swap. Let's see how this goes. I'm pretty antsy right now. Now, before everything goes crazy in the comments, you know, we can't bring to the, ta the Tahoe to the dyno just yet, just because we don't have the fuel pump to actually supply the fuel for the amount of boost we actually wanna push. We don't wanna go there and just push seven and a half PSI and kind of max everything out. We actually wanna run a 14 PSI all the way up to 20 PSI run just to send it. So the fact is, it's not gonna be applicable right now to do that. So until then, they do the dyno days like all the time. So whenever the fuel pump is gonna be swapped out, we're gonna be there. Um, from here, I know that uh, my TA, uh, the fuel pump can only support up to around 400 wheel horsepower. So I don't know if I'm gonna run out of pump or whatever is really gonna happen on the dyno. So we're just gonna have to see for right now, but let's head over to the dyno. But before we do that, you always know me and the cold start. So let's hear that cold start with the new cam swap. <laughs> So as we can see, the Trans Am is actually making a good amount of power. So the last run that we did made 399.7 rear wheel horsepower, which is a huge jump from the stock 307 wheel horsepower that we made last time that we was on the dyno. And I had long tubes on the car. I had a long tubes and tune, and it made 307 wheel. And it was a pretty hot day out there. My inlet air temperatures are still at the 150s. I don't really know how to get that down outside of getting a lid. So if I put a lid on the car, I probably would make more power. Uh, if I stop using the 78 millimeter throttle body, I'll make more power. I'm maxing out the injectors right now. Whenever we were street tuning it, it was at 99% uh, injector uh, duty cycle. So, I mean, I'm maxing out the injectors. And he said, if you max them out to like 100% and it gets very, very hot, then you can actually like seize themselves all the way open and it can mess up your motor. So there's a lot of things. I still got to work out the kinks, bigger pump things, run it on nitrous. Things are coming soon, but just for right now, you get to see really as the car sits on a 93 octane pup gas tune, it's running 399.7 rear wheel horsepower. So shout out to Mike, tune this car. I mean, he had a thing spot on. I mean, from the street tune all the way to the dyno tune, we only picked up like seven rear wheels. So he already had the car dialed in as I had it. So shout out to you, beast ass tuner. But um, watch out for the next videos. We should be getting some stuff done with the T8, with the WS6. I'm thinking about another project car right now. I don't really know too sure. Maybe Fox body, maybe um, like an old G body, like an 80s uh, Monte Carlo or something, Turbo LS. I'm really itching to make something that have like 800 horsepower. But for right now, we're just gonna just stick with what we're doing right now and kind of see where everything goes. Um, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, Turbo's Garage.